Kill him! Burn him! But don't touch him for God's sake. I ain't gonna get sick. I ain't sick. I got the power of Jesus' blood running through my veins. I ain't never gonna get sick. And it makes you wonder why some of the more anti-vaxxer states are getting heavily infected by the coronavirus right about now. Hello everybody and welcome to another movie review vlog. Yes, it has been a while, but I am back. Hopefully for good this time around. And mostly while I'm in the self-isolation, I realized maybe I should do a few reviews while I'm in here. So I might as well take a crack at it once more. And uh, I do apologize. First off, I just want to give you guys a quick note that I do apologize for the very, very, very long hiatus that I've been on. But I just mostly needed to get a lot of stuff together, a lot of personal things in my life getting straight out of the way. But with that said, it seems like a lot of it has been taken care of. And I'm thinking about going back to making the videos that I used to enjoy and love once more. So, with that said, uh, this coronavirus, you know, a lot of talk has been about it, and uh, I just realized that it's a lot similar to the 2011 movie Contagion, starring a full star studded cast at the time, which I would have to say people may be right about this movie. It was way ahead of its time when it came to an infectious viral disease that pretty much can spread just as easily if you cough on somebody, you don't if you touch somebody, or if you do a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and yet it has a more effective body count in comparison to the, in, to the coronavirus, but hey, that's movies for you. So the movie Contagion is a 2011 movie, and it's also directed by Steven Soderbergh, which I completely forgot this was a Steven Soderbergh film until the end of the credits rolled by. And it's quite surprising because usually when you see a Sto Steven Soderbergh film, you expect something a little bit different. So the plot of this movie Contagion is, is kind of pretty much what you expect. Disease, pestilence, and it starts off with uh, Gwyneth Paltrow being the patient zero of the movie, where she is the first to get infected, and along the way between her business trip in Asia, all the way up to back as she travels back to the US, she infects a lot of things and uh, interacts with a lot of people on the way, along the way, thus how the contagion originally started and how a huge, epic, nationwide pandemic begins. It's funny about this movie is that it's one of those examples when you watch a movie trailer of one thing, you have an idea of what it could be, but it turns out to be something else entirely. If you ever saw the trailer for the, this movie in 2011, you would think that this was a thriller of some kind. But in reality, the first half of the movie is more of an examination of what it could be when, it, when an epidemic or a pandemic happens. I mean, don't get me wrong, it boots you right into it, but at the same time, it is so procedural that you kind of get drawn out at times. But then midway into the movie, it kind of just jumps right into it where there's riots in the streets, people are panicking as well as getting paranoid with hand sanitizers and constantly washing your hands and who you touch and wearing full hazmat body suits and everything else to the point where it's pretty much like paranoia. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's not as bad as the coronavirus that everyone is going through right now. This one actually just hits everyone really hard and really fast, as well as making them get killed almost instantly after a couple of days. Which it brings up the extreme paranoia within everyone. Pretty much when the plague does hit, everyone turns into absolute animals. Except for Matt Damon, because, hey, he's the cool guy. But pretty much it kind of shows like a sci-fi movie. What, breaks down what everyone is going through and what happens throughout this entire epidemic. But it pretty much just shows a breakdown of what happens throughout society when everything breaks down. I guess another really disappointing thing I would have to say about this movie is pretty much the end of it. It doesn't really exactly end, it just kind of sputters out like after the disease, they find the cure, the vaccination for this disease and everything just kind of goes and when the ending does roll around, there's no exact resolution to a lot of these characters. And you would think that they would have some sort of connection like, oh, we're going to bring everyone back together once more after everything was said and done. But at the end of the day, it was just like nothing. And I got to say that when everything is all said and done, it's really hard for me to rate this movie between a 2 or possibly a 3 out of 5 because it's technically well done and there are, the performance in here is well solid for the most part. From watching it from my perspective, I thought of some points that were pretty well done with the editing and everything and I thought, okay, this may be, uh, I would say, a 
three out of five stars. But store-wise, it just honestly didn't really satisfy me at all. When everything was said and done, and the, when the re resolution of the movie happened, I was just like, oh, really guys? Is this how you're gonna take it? So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. So I guess at the end of it, I'm just going to give it somewhere in the middle. Uh, two and a half out of five stars. Not exactly good, not exactly bad, but it's somewhere in between. And if you guys happen to find it on your uh, local streaming platform, I highly recommend possibly watching it for yourself if you're self-quarantined on, on one of your days days off. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you, if you guys enjoyed that, feel free to let me know what you guys thought about the movie in the description box below, whether you thought the movie was good, whether it's bad, as well as if you guys would like to support me in any way you can. Of course, I'm making no money off of this, but I do make money off of Patreon as well. And uh, for $1 a month, I will take up any of your guys' requests for a movie review vlog. People will like good old Ryan Molina from Battle Beat Plus. Really appreciate his support for the last couple of years, even on my certain hiatus days, and hopefully I'm gonna make up to it and give him a, a give all, him and also the rest of you future patrons your money's worth for any possible requests. So if you're out there and if you guys have a request for me to for something to review, whether it be the movie review vlogs or one of my future BoobTube reviews, feel free to let me know in the Patreon logo right here, and I have all the details that I have provided for you guys to follow through on that. So, with that said, thank you very much. Hopefully this will be the start of more review, review vlogs to, to go, as well as some other future BoobTube reviews in the near future. Yes, I'm getting back on it, and it's good to be back. For real this time. I, I really mean it. So, take care guys. I'll see you all next time.